Hello, and welcome to Bipolar Opposites. My name is Tim Cobb, and I'm the host of this show. Well, it's the time of the year, the cold, the snow, the sales, yes, Christmas! A time of joy and giving to many, receiving. Christmas, unfortunately, has lost its meaning. The kids only the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ. They think about how Santa Claus is going to come down the chimneys and leave presents under their trees. They want great gifts like the Xbox One or Skylanders or Elsa dolls. They don't think of who really deserves the gift, which is why I'm talking to you right now. As you can tell, this is about my Christmas wish list. Now, yes, I can tell you that I am getting presents for Christmas myself this year, but I feel that there are others who deserve presents who aren't getting, you, who aren't getting what they so greatly need. Yes, I am talking about charities. They are so important, and yet they're not getting enough attention. So, I feel with the holiday season, I wish those charities would get rich recipients. I'm going to share with you about these charities, what their history is, what they do, how to donate, and the meaning of these charities to me. I hope you will make not just my wish come true, but also the wish of the recipients as well as for this special time of the year. Right now, I'd like to talk about the American Cancer Society. Together with their millions of supporters, the Can American Cancer Society, ACS, saves lives by helping people stay well and get well, by finding cures and by fighting back. The American Cancer Society is a nationwide, community-based, voluntary health organization dedicated to eliminating cancer as a major health problem. Headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, the ACS has regional and local offices throughout the country that support 11 geographical divisions and ensure they have a presence in every community. The American Cancer Society is a nationwide, community-based, voluntary health organization dedicated to eliminating cancer as a major health problem by preventing cancer, saving lives, and diminishing suffering from cancer through research, education, advocacy, and service. The American Cancer Society's international mission concentrates on capacity, building and developing cancer societies in a collaboration with other cancer-related organizations throughout the world and carrying out shared strategic directions. The meaning the American Cancer Society has to me is highly personal. My grandma Faye adored me. She was infertile and my grandpa and parents dubbed her my Grandma Faye. I was the center of her universe from what I've been told. Sadly, she passed away from lung cancer when I was three and I have no real memories of her. I know most of us have a who have lost at a young age, we can't really understand them, and we aren't. And we feel like we aren't remembering them correctly. That was my grandma Faye and my childhood best friend Sarah. She died when I was seven years old. She had brain cancer. It is a nightmare to see someone deteriorate around her, around you. And I thank God I don't remember these awful mo memories and not remember the good, good times that we had and fun we had together. It was difficult to our parents to explain this. Sarah has gone to heaven. It's so confusing. I also uh, Sarah's gone to heaven. You won't be able to play with her anymore. How is this seven-year-old able to process that? It's so confusing. I also had the loss of my grandpa, the one who was married to my grandma Faye, to liver cancer. His death is one of those what-if moments. Now, I often say that those statements are pointless to think about, but this is a hypothetical situation from my childhood, so bear with me. My grandnana, great-grandmother, was being sent to Florida to live with my, my great-uncle Jack, and my grandfather agreed to go with her. The doctors in Florida eventually diagnosed liver cancer, but by that point there was nothing they could do. If they hadn't lived in New York, would the doctors be able to diagnose it while it was at a stage where it was able to be detected and fixed so that he wouldn't have died? I was, I was also supposed to go to Florida one last time to see him, but unfortunately passed before the visit, which has always been hard for me. I would also like to point out that should have, would have, and could have are things that are pointless and there is nothing anyone can do about those. Instead, of about the will, shall, and can. These are the things we can change. Okay, back to my stories. My grandma passed away when I was in high school. We were very close. We had little jokes that no one understood but the two of us. I still remember walking to my mother's apartment and going, Timmy, come here and give me a kiss. Most kids don't want to hear that, 
My grandma was special. She was certainly one of a kind. My grandma survived breast cancer for 15 years, but eventually, unfortunately, the cancer spread to her bones and she lost her battle. This loss was devastating. I do remember one thing that seems odd, but I'll explain it to you. I cried for my grandma as the paramedics wheeled her down the stairs of the apartment building, but not when she died. My reason for this was the day they brought her to the hospital, I knew she was gone, and her death was leaving for both her and me, as I knew she wasn't in pain anymore. My most recent cancer loss was that of my dog, Casper. After 15 and a half years with me, he used to come to liver cancer. There, there was a stage, I was, when I was in stage of the Kubler Ross model, the five stages of grief, barring the, 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 the words, he's in our place, I immediately thought, I wanted to hear this is a better place, which I know is childish, but I never lost the bet before the loss was devastating. So here's the part where you can fulfill not just my Christmas wish, but the wish of all the people who have cancer and their loved ones. The website to donate is www.cancer.org. Then click Donate. The donation can be one time or monthly, depending on how you wish to donate. Cancer has plagued my whole life, and I'd be incredibly grateful, and I'm incredibly grateful, as are the people of the United States and the whole world as a whole, suffering from this horrible disease. If you need to support the show, cause a little my Christmas wish. I thank you for watching this video. If you could share it with others, that would be fantastic. Until then, keep coming out.